So we're going to talk about transporting kayaks and um, it's quite a shocking photograph this one. It's taken probably about um, six or seven kilometers from my house. Uh, a friend of ours that was on their way to the coast one day um, became involved in a road traffic accident and you can see there that the uh, bow of the kayak went through someone else's windscreen and uh, thankfully they were they uh, lived to tell the tale but it was a very serious accident. So, um, you know, a lot of the time when we talk about sit on top uh, kayak safety, we tend to think of underwater. So I just want to spend a few moments talking about transportation options. So for people that are thinking about taking up sit on tops, um, they need to think about the, this side of things, the manual handling associated with moving a large, heavy plastic and kind of bulky uh, object around. So there's a risk of injury with that. Um, for example, I was on a Zoom call last week with a mother who was buying some sit on tops for herself and her kids. And even just the challenge of getting a double sit on top up onto the roof of the, the people carrier, uh, it requires a bit of thought to get that right. So we've got some solutions for that. So if the roof rack and the kayaks aren't secured properly, they can you know, pose a very high uh, risk to other road users and indeed to ourselves. So we're going to look at the use of roof rack cradles, which can make things a hell of a lot easier. Uh, we might even consider a trailer if you're carrying multiple boats. And then there's also accessories such as the tie straps, which is, eliminates the need for knowledge of knots and so on foam cradles and inflatable roof racks. So I've got a few images here to help us. So we'll just move on to this slide here. So top left hand corner there, you can see a set of upright bars in the middle of the roof rack. And that allows us to put the two kayaks on the edges and it's easier to balance and load them. The criticism I'd have of that particular photograph is that there's no pads underneath it. Not so much in terms of damage to the boats, but it's more slippage of the plastic on bare metal. So the middle photograph at the top there, you can see the set of upright bars combined with a set of roof rack pads, and that stops that slippage of the boats as well. And um, so top right hand corner there, we can see the set of J bar cradles, which allow us to lift the kayak up and it sits, in, sits into a very natural position. And again, that's demonstrated in the lower left photograph. Um, these foam cradles here in the middle, these are ones that I'm really uh, fond of. I came across these in a French kayak shop um, a number of years back, and since then they've become more widely available. So it's basically a, a piece of high density mini, mini cell foam cut to the right shape. And whether you've got aero or square bars on your roof rack, you can buy the one to fit. And uh, it really is just plug the kayak onto the roof rack, throw your roof rack strap over it, and it's a real, real good fix. So there's kind of a, another image there in the bottom right hand corner where you have a longer kayak, maybe a double or a, a long touring sit on top. And if it's much longer than the width of the roof rack bars on top, you may even need to secure it bow and stern to your tow hitch um, uh, and so on in the car. So uh, hopefully some useful images there. Um, we're going to move on to a few other ideas here now. Um, you're kind of upping your expenditure a little bit more and, and these are things that need to be thought about when a family um, are buying a sit on top kayaks for the first time. So top right, our top left hand side there, it's a friend of mine, uh, Darren's Kayaks. They're down in West Cork, a, a really good reputable supplier. Um, you can see him there, he's got um, a double or sorry, a rather large sit on top. He's got the J bars. So he's lifting one end up into the cradle, first of all, and then he'll lift up the other end. Bottom left hand corner there, we've got good manual handling practice uh, there. The two people working together rather than sort of risking it on their own. But the, the two other photographs in the middle and the right hand side, that's a roof rack system made by a UK company called Carrytech. And Carrytech, I've had one of their racks for a while on, on one of my vehicles particularly for those longer kind of sea kayaks or indeed big double sit on tops. It's a system that slides down off the roof of the car, has the cradles on it, and it just makes it much easier for you to put the boats on and off the rack. And then once you have them strapped and secured into position, you can just slide the whole lot off uh, up onto the roof. Now there's a significant uh, investment in that. And if you have um, specialist vehicles like a high roof van or a camper van, 
these can work for it as well. So um, if you're interested in that, you can look for Carry Tech online and uh, I'll share their details afterwards if you're interested. If you wanted to go all out, um, then the, the sit on top kayak trailer might be something worth considering. Um, there are a number of Irish suppliers for this. There's a great company there called Paddleworks. You'll find them on Facebook. Um, they're actually working on a, a small trailer for me at the moment because I'm getting tired of going up and down the roof of vans. Um, but that multiple uh, trailer there, Darren has that one down in West Cork and uh, it's just a nice easy way of not having to put boats up over head height. Um, so something worth considering there. Now, some other handy features. Um, if the car park that you're arriving to is a long way from the water's edge, it might be worth thinking about buying a kayak with a wheel underneath the back of it. So our top right-hand photograph there, just the feel-free uh, single sit on top, it's got a little built-in wheel underneath it. So when you grab it by the bow, you can roll it along the road or the shore to get to the water's edge. And then in the other photographs, we've got some other types of trolleys. So um, this one here actually plugs into the kind of self-draining bungs on your sit on top kayak. And it's real easy to fit, no straps, no knots or anything like that. And then these other ones down here, they strap underneath the stern of the kayak. I tend to find them a little bit fidgety personally, but um, make sure when you're buying it that it's compatible with whatever model or design of kayak that you're using. 